way to um, our other barn property that's part of Colby's family where we have some of our cows and uh, the big white one that y'all seen before had her baby so we're on our way to make sure everything is good and um, check out the little calf and we're excited to know if it's a boy or a girl. Y'all excited? Yeah. So we're super excited we're just gonna go check it out. We're heading back home. There's the rest of the cows. But uh, mom and baby's doing well. They look good down the hill. Misty's still down there looking at them. So it's gonna be a big staff calf. We really can't tell what it is yet because it hadn't got real close to us yet. But calf's walking around, which is good. And mama's walking right beside her. It's already nursed her once. So we're happy with that. Well, it's not sunny anymore. It's kind of raining kind of hard here. Uh, it's slacked up just a little bit, so while it's slacked up, I like leaving the cows in their tent fence until about 8 at night, uh, especially during the summer months. But since it's slacked up, it's supposed to be another round coming in around that time. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and put them back in its regular fencing. Uh, I did something a little different. I put um, Elsa, which is our milk cow, I put her in the very furthest, it's furthest a word, maybe. Uh, I put her in the farthest farther is far farther further the far one. further is farther the far one uh, she has been over here now this is her first time to really be that far off but that grass needs to be ate it's, it's a good thing when you're <laughs> your paddocks are doing so well that if you don't get the the grass ate you're going to, have to bush hog it or cut it and I don't want to do that so I put all four cows in here you can still see they got a little grass from the line but we're gonna make them eat it but right now I'm gonna go and get Elsa back over we'll leave the other ones in it for a little bit longer but I'm just worried that uh, it's supposed to get really bad weather so we may go ahead and get it far corner can you see that uh right there that is an older RV that is gonna be the max RV that we're gonna use to go to all these functions the problem is the reason we hadn't went to a lot of functions is that reason it's hard to find a milker but hey we found a milker so we bought this older camper that is literally older than every kid i've got <laughs> we're gonna have fun in it so like little ducks in a row all right no waste on our onions you see that we have of course the big ones and we will eat the smaller ones like these, uh, let's see, like that one right there. We're hoping that we can grow and that could be our next bulb for next year. So that's what we're going to try to do with the smaller ones. But look how, look how big some of these are. They look so good. And then again, as we talk about no waste, we just cut all the, the greens like we showed. And then this is just them putting them in the dehydrator. We don't eat a lot of fresh green onion because 
Um, the kids just really don't like it. So we, we dry it and we'll use it on rubs or chickens that are mixing dips and all kinds of things. But, but again, chickens got the rest. Greens came on here. And then the onions there. We're going to try to again use the small ones for the bulbs for next year. And the big ones we will eat. All right, we're making supper, and it's awesome because we're actually having our okra, our corn, mm -hmm. our onions, along with our butter, our potatoes and onions. We're fixing to have zucchini and squash go in there, along with some tomato. And then uh, we don't have, it's not our chicken, but we are eating chicken, but it is with our seasoning and our oreganos. And what else is on there? Is that it? Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. We didn't make the salt and pepper either. Did we? We made coffee. butter. You made butter? That's right. I'm fixing to make coffee because I'm tired. We're going to drink it with our meals.